Hello and welcome to this Microscan video tutorial on how to use the Weblink user interface. Weblink is the web interface for the MicroHawk barcode readers, which we can use to view reading results, as well as to configure the reader settings. In this lesson, I will show you how to adjust the camera settings in Weblink. Later in this video, I will also demonstrate the autofocus, autophotometry, manual focus, and spot on features. When you click on the gear icon to bring up the application settings menu, one of the options you will see is Advanced. Weblink's advanced settings allow you to fine tune individual reading parameters for all areas of your reader's functionality. When you click on the Advanced button, a separate window comes up with several tabs. Each tab encapsulates the parameter settings for a specific area, such as camera setup, as we can see on the left, communications, read cycles, symbologies, and so on. Now let's go through the camera settings tab in the advanced settings window and explore the parameters we can configure there. You can find some of these parameters also in the setup panel of the Weblink main window. In the Camera Setup tab, we can find and configure parameters such as exposure, gain, illumination, window of interest, focus, and morphological pre-processing. All of these parameters have a direct effect on the image. Let's take a look at some examples and play with them a little bit. We can enable this option and apply the operation Grow Dark. And let's see what happens to the symbol. As simple as it sounds, it will grow the dark pixels and dark elements will become even bigger than they actually are. Let's change it again and see how the image will change. Shrink dark pixels and the dark elements become smaller. We also have the connect and separate options. These are often used for dot peen direct part mark symbols, where you sometimes need to connect the dots, which are the elements, or separate them in order to have better read results. Regarding the exposure and gain, I want to mention that the reason why it's highlighted in red now is because we are in auto mode. If we cancel the auto photometry by pressing this button, these values can be modified manually by the user. Let's select a higher exposure and see what happens to the image. You can see the image becoming much lighter. Now I will show you the window of interest, WOI feature. As you can see in this situation, the MicroHawk is reading this code, but with every frame, it captures a much bigger field of view, and a lot of space here is wasted. If we look at the decode time, it's now about 30 milliseconds. Let's limit the window of interest only to the area of the symbol. This will save a lot of processing time because there are much less pixels to be read from the sensor to the memory and much less data to be processed by the software. So how can we do this? Now the device is running. Let's stop it and press the window of interest button. Here, you can also see the size of the maximal window of interest. And a frame will appear around the field view. We can drag and resize the frame with the mouse and limit the window of interest to the size that we want. So let's try something like this. Run again. And the new window of interest now includes only this area. All the rest of the area of the sensor is ignored. And now if we look at the decode time, it's less than 10 milliseconds. By doing this, we've improved the processing time by more or less a factor of three. Now, if you want to get back to the maximal window of interest for any reason, let's stop the device, open the window of interest, and here, with one mouse click, you can maximize the window of interest. Enter, run again, now it's running, and you can see that the device is again capturing the complete largest possible window of interest, and finding the symbol. 
the decode time is again higher as before. Now let's have a look at the autofocus feature. Currently, the device is reading this symbol at a distance of approximately 25 centimeters, or 10 inches from the reader. And we can see here in the toolbar that the focus is in the autofocus mode, based on the letter A, which appears inside the camera icon. Now I will test this feature by placing a symbol very close to the reader. In a quick movement. And we can see that after two seconds, the device will automatically focus again at a distance of just five centimeters, or two inches. Now, not only the focus setting is in auto mode, but also the photometry setting is in auto mode. As indicated by the letter A inside the icon, we can see that the photometry settings are also automatically adjusting to the new situation. If we look at the acquire area and exposure time, it's at 425 microseconds. Now I will remove this card, and again the reader will look at a distance of 25 centimeters, which will also require different photometry settings, not only different focus. Now let's remove the card, and after more or less two seconds, we see that the exposure time is adjusted. This time to 8200 microseconds. And the autofocus is again focused on a symbol at a distance of 25 centimeters. Finally, I will demonstrate the manual focus and spot on feature of the focus, where you can set the reader to focus on a specific location. So what we can see here is that we have one symbol on one side of the image at a distance of 25 centimeters. I've already switched the autofocus to manual mode, and the photometry settings are also in manual mode. Let's see what happens when I place another symbol at a distance of about 5 centimeters. Of course, because the lens is focused at this distance, the symbol nearby will be very blurred. Let's tell the reader to focus on the symbol nearby. So let's click on the focus icon, which, like said, is already in manual mode, and select spot focus. Now we want to focus on this target, and we can just click on the area where we want to focus on, and the reader will automatically detect the distance, and focus on the new symbol. Note what happens to the symbol further away. It's now blurred. It's also possible to change the focus in manual mode by giving the distance in millimeters. Let's enter a number here. The reader is now focused further away. Thank you for watching.